Thanks for joining us today. We want to help you build a better business. My name is John Stacy, and we have a passion for helping you achieve success. I hope that as you watch today, you get some tips that moves your company forward. In the book, The Vision and the Vow, Pete Grieg tells about a well-known art critic who studied the painting of Renaissance master Filippino Lippi. He was in London's National Gallery looking at the, the depiction of Mary holding the infant Jesus on her lap, with Saints Dominic and Jerome kneeling nearby. There appeared to be something wrong with the painting. Lippi's skill, his use of color, composition were quite good, but the proportions of his painting seemed off and almost out of focus. The background seemed exaggerated, almost as if they could topple from the painting to the polished floor. The saints that were kneeling looked uncomfortable and almost out of place. The art critic was on a long list of people that had criticized the work's poor perspective. But as it turns out, he may well be the last to do so. Why, you ask? Because at the time, he had a revelation. It occurred to him that, that the problem might not be the painting, but his perspective. The painting had been commissioned to be hung in a place of prayer. The critic, Robert Cumming, went to his knees in the public gallery before the painting. He immediately saw what thousands of fans and critics had missed. From his new vantage point, he found himself gazing up at a perfectly proportioned painting. The foreground had moved magically to the background while the saints lost their awkwardness and appeared to become settled in their position. Like the painting itself, having turned to grace, Mary looked intently directly at him as he knelt at her feet between the two saints. The perspective of the painting had not been wrong all these years. It was the perspective of, of the people looking at it. On bended knee, we have found the beauty that so many could not see in the past. The painting only came alive to those on their knees in prayer. The right perspective was in the position of worship. Can you change your perspective and improve your life? The answer is yes, if you are willing to change the way that you look at things. If you're ready to change your life, contact me, John Stacy, at Catalyst Strategy Consulting, and we can help you change the way you look at life.